The New News Hour with Jim Hart. Coming along on the second half of today's New News Hour, the Labor Minister meets with the two sides in the transit shutdown. Discussions underway in Victoria as of this morning, behind closed doors, of course. And coming to a corner store near you, something new. The chains are getting into new things, and the poor independent corner store operator struggles on. Corner store. Business was bad in the 50s and 60s when the big supermarket chains took over. But right now, business is booming. But it's not the neighborhood variety benefiting from this consumer turnaround. It's the big guy. Chains like Max and 7-Eleven. The key is convenience and service. Max, the convenience store chain, is getting into the travel business. Sort of. Now when you buy your candy, gum, or coke, you'll get a chance to save on car rentals, hotels, and even plane fares. It's a promotion called Adventure Cash. The idea, expanded service. In truth, what we're doing is offering an additional service to the customers who shop at Max. What we're doing is allowing them to shop at Max to get savings on travel-related services across a wide range of goods from hotels to motels to airlines to trips to car rental. Uh, more and more we will develop services for consumers. Uh, the travel service is one that we brought to fruition. We have a number of others that we're presently working on also. Like? Automatic banking machines where you come in and you put your card in, you press the, the numbers and you can get money out of the store. Obviously with a 24-hour store, uh, seven days a week, all the year round, it's a very, very safe location for a uh, bank teller machine. Video uh, rental, uh, where you can come in any time of the day or night and rent a movie. This full service philosophy is aimed at the changing trends of shoppers who are willing to spend a little more in return for convenient hours and short lineups. The big supermarkets now only have about half the retail food market. Max and 7-Eleven, its major competitor, are taking advantage of the turnaround. 7-Eleven had 45 stores in December of 81 in BC, 56 by the following year, 88 by 1983, and now has 95 outlets here, more than double in less than three years, for a Canadian total of 363. There are about 3,000 convenience stores in Canada, and Max is the biggest of the chains, with 750 outlets. Business is booming, up 15% in the last year. But what's happening to the little guy, the independent corner store grocer? Business wasn't so bad, but the, the last few years has been quite touchy, touchy. Traditional corner stores like this one are hanging on. Most are family businesses. They can't afford hired help. Most is family. That's why mm -hmm. we can hang on. Like, you know, if they have hired employees, there's no way you can cost the rent cost so much nowadays. The work is seven days a week, 12 hours a day. And the odds seem small that these businessmen can ever really get ahead, living as they do in the shadow of a growing giant. 